Welcome to a tutorial on how to use your drop down menu template. Drop down menu templates are great for organizing and navigating large PowerPoint presentations with great ease. It helps the presenter be able to reference certain sections of the PowerPoint presentation without losing their original place in the PowerPoint presentation. Also, it is great for professors to use because it makes it easier for students to review the PowerPoint presentation before exams and quizzes. We are going to be following three simple steps. The first step is to type in titles, just like you would for any PowerPoint template you use. When you download a drop down menu template from slidenavigator.com, you will see your menu slides and your content divider slides. Your menu slides are the first five slides that you see on the left. The menu slides are an outline of your presentation. The other slides are your content divider slides. The menu slides contain the title and the four subheading buttons, which will be the four main sections of your PowerPoint presentation. And under each of the four subheading buttons, there are four link buttons, which will be the subsections under each of the four subheadings. When you start your presentation show, you can see that your subheading buttons are already hyperlinked. Because when you click on them, they go to your content divider slide. Your link buttons, which are the buttons under your subheading buttons, are not hyperlinked because we have not added any content to hyperlink them to. Our first step is to type in titles. Type in the title of your presentation on each of the menu slides to ensure consistency in your PowerPoint presentation. You can copy and paste the titles to save time. Also, type in the four subheading titles on each of the menu slides. I am only going to type in subheading 1 to use as an example in this tutorial, but you would type in the title for each of the subheading buttons. You can copy and paste the titles to save time. Type in the subheading title into its content divider slide. You will type in subheading 1 title into the content divider slide that says subheading 1. Now you are ready for your second step. Add your content. You simply click under your subheading slide to add a new slide. You can change the slide layout. And begin typing. 
But if you are transferring slides from a previous presentation, like what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial, you simply go to the presentation you want to insert and copy and paste it into the new template. By clicking select, select all, click copy and go to the new template and click where you want to insert it. I am going to click under subheading one and I'm going to paste the slides there. Some slides did not transfer perfectly to the new template. So instead of adjusting each individual slide to save time, I am going to right click and click reset slide. After you have inserted your content under each of your subheading content divider slides, you are now ready for the final step. Hyperlink your link buttons. Remember, when you are hyperlinking your link buttons, you are creating links only to the main section, subsections under that subheading. You are not creating links to each individual slide. There are two ways to hyperlink your link buttons. The first way, you can type in the title of the first subsection and then hyperlink the button. To hyperlink your button, you click insert, hyperlink, place in document, select the slide you want hyperlinked. A faster and easier way, if you do not want to type in your link titles, is to click inside the box, Go to insert, hyperlink, place in this document. Select the slide you want hyperlinked and click OK. The title is automatically inserted and hyperlinked for you. Now when you start your presentation show, Your link buttons are hyperlinked. When you are done, if you need additional link buttons, you simply copy and paste one of the link buttons. When you are done completing the final step of hyperlinking your link buttons, this is an example of what the final product would look like. All your links are hyperlinked. You now have an interactive PowerPoint presentation. To review, our three steps were type in titles, add your content, hyperlink link buttons. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you need additional help, you can visit our FAQ or contact us page.